Hello, I am Jose Luis Campos, Vice President, Life and Health, Latin America. Hey, I'm Bertrand Petrans, Vice President, Life and Health, Middle East and North Africa. Thank you for joining us for this presentation on the specificities of life and non-life insurance in emerging markets, with a focus on the MENA region in respect of life. As we know, emerging markets present unique challenges and opportunities for the insurance industry, and our insurance is no exception. Today, we would like to discuss some of the key specificities of insurance in these markets, focusing on structures, covers, principles, CAT, and clauses. First, let's talk about structures. Emerging markets can be quite different from those in developed markets. For example, insurers may rely more heavily on facultative reinsurance rather than treaty reinsurance. Facultative reinsurance is a type of reinsurance that is negotiated on a case-by-case -case basis, whereas treaty reinsurance is an agreement between the insurer a reinsurer to cover a specific portfolio of risks. In MENA region, most of the local players act through proportional structures when related to the life segment. Most popular is a mix between a cotation and a surplus. Facultative are quite common over the region, notably on group life and group credit schemes. Next, let's discuss covers. In emerging markets, non-life insurance covers reflections the unique risks and needs of these markets. For example, Natural disasters such as floods and earthquakes may be more common in some emerging markets and insurers may need to offer specialized covers for these risks. In terms of life covers and products, they remain quite simple compared to mature markets. A sizable portion of the product deployed over MENA are on the short tail basis with a cover duration of 12 months maximum. Range of benefits covered are generally limited to death and disability with an amount corresponding to a capital paid in one shot and not on an annuity basis. Third, let's discuss CAT covers. Emerging markets can be particularly vulnerable to catastrophic events such as natural disasters and CAT covers are an important part of their insurance landscape in these markets. CAT covers are designed to provide protection in the event of a catastrophic loss and can be structured in a variety of ways, including as traditional excess of loss cover as parametric covers. Life catastrophic cover was not perceived by market players as an important one, but things are changing. Since the pandemic occurred, climate change impact accelerates coming from natural perils or caused by human intervention. Finally, let's talk about clauses. Emerging markets may require specific clauses to be included in reinsurance contracts, reflecting the unique risks and needs of these markets. For example, a deprivation of assets clause may be required in some emerging markets, which allows the reinsurer to retain a certain portion of the premium paid by the insurer in the event that the insurer becomes insolvent. We observed in recent years more flexibility on terms and conditions offering the policies, including reduction in the number of exclusions, such as adduced sports, HIV, suicide, and cover extension, such as cover for passive war or terrorism acceptance of cover on rollover basis with increased sum insured. In conclusion, the specificities of reinsurance in emerging markets for non-life insurance reflect the unique risks and needs of these markets. Reinsurance structures, covers, principles, CAT and clauses may differ from those in developed markets, reflecting the legal and regulatory framework, as well as the unique risks and needs for these markets. Despite a relatively high level of wealth in some of the MENA countries, life insurance penetration rates remain relatively low compared to mature markets. Nevertheless, we believe life represents great potential for the future due to a large young population, better awareness of products. Technology adoption is one of the main challenges for insurers and reinsurers, as it is increasing rapidly in emerging markets and requires fulfilling with digital technology to tap new customers and the young generation. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Now you know everything about the reinsurance specificities in emerging markets. Thanks for your attention and goodbye.